This is David, WA901Y. We have the Bofang UV5R, and we're going to scan the 2 meter band. There's three different scanning modes. We're going to use the search. First of all, we set up the starting frequency is 144.000. And we're going to go to the menu system. Menu. 18. And SC is the scan, and we'll stop once we receive a carrier, and we won't change that. Now, to turn on the scan, we hit the star button and hold it down for two seconds. Scanning begin. Notice that we're scanning by increments of 10 kilohertz. You can change that in one of the menu system. And we'll let it go. tried to check into the net this evening and have not been recognized by net control, please contact me at my email address, kilo1 charlie hotel november at kilo1 charlie hotel november dot com. And I will repeat that in just a moment. That was the scan. This is oh. kilo1 charlie hotel november. My name is Jeremy. I'm closing this evening's session of the Neighborhood Emergency Communication Training Net. Thanks to all stations who participated and to those who stood by to give us a clear operating frequency. The K7 RPT repeater is owned and operated by the Amateur Radio Relay Group, and the Net greatly, greatly appreciates permission for its use. Again, if you have tried to check in and not been recognized by Net Control, please contact me at Kilo One Charlie Hotel November at Kilo One Charlie Hotel November dot com. Uh, we will troubleshoot the issue and get you on the air. This net will meet again next Sunday at eight ten p.m. local time. This repeater is now returned to general amateur use. Seventy three everyone, and thank you for participating in the net. This is Kilo One Charlie Hotel November. Jeremy. Finding the net clear at 9.05 p.m. Portland local time. K1CHNK7 SIM. Go ahead, Alec. Yeah, I was going to ask just because we both can be uh, forgetful if uh, either come tonight or tomorrow if you email me the check-in list uh, so I have it, that would be great. Yep, I will. I'll send it to you in just a few minutes as soon as I copy everything into the right columns. Scanning begin. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop it here. One of the caveats of scanning is that you may end up stopping on the input of the repeater and not the output of the repeater. So it may require a little more digging on your part. But in this case, we got the tail end of a net. He announced uh, what the... Uh, repeater was. We can look this up in the repeater blue book and other online references to check with the uh, input and output frequencies and that will determine whether or not we
we were receiving the input of the repeater or its output. I've done some digging on the repeater on 147040. It's the Amateur Radio Relay Group and the repeater is definitely the output frequency we heard. It's the Portland uh, Metro. It sits on a very large tower uh, west of the metro area, the Coin Tower. The Coin Towers is a thousand feet and uh, it's a freestanding tower. So that basically determines one repeater that the Bofang UV5R can receive excellently. And uh, we'll be searching again. This is David, W901Y73 and QRT.